Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the roulette that I'm doing with Amanda. Amanda is Amanda D here on YouTube and I'll link her channel in the description box down below. What this is was we had 50 categories and we picked 10 to start off with and we're cycling through those 10. Once one goes out we pick something from the list of categories to go in and we always have 10 products. Kind of like if you're playing cards, you always have 10 cards in your hand and then when you discard one, you pick one from the deck. That's kind of what we're doing. Some of the items that I've been through, so far I've finished 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. 5 items, which I'm really happy with. We've still got a month to go, this doesn't end until the end of December. So actually 2 months to go, so we have the whole month of November and the whole month of December to finish up as many as we can. We're not going to stop at 10. We did think about just stopping at 10 but then we thought nah forget it let's just see how many we can get done. So that's what we're going to do. Some of these items I will not get done I can tell you that now but we're going to keep going and we're going to power through and we're going to hope that when I pick categories later on in this video that I do not get a lip balm because that would just be, I would cry. Before we start, I did say this in my Halloween project, but there's fireworks happening, it's very loud, I'm really sorry. I wanted to sit down and film. I didn't realize it was gonna be this loud. It certainly wasn't last year. I think there's more people out there doing fireworks. So if you want an explanation of why there's fireworks in the middle of November, go to my Halloween video because I've put something in the description box that tells you all about it. The first item on my list is a liquid lipstick. And for the liquid lipstick, I picked a different liquid lipstick than this one. And then last update, I subbed it out for this one. And this is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydromet in the shade Ecstasy. This is what I've been wearing in all those videos where people keep asking me what is on my lips. You can still get it if you fancy it. I don't know if there's any dupes for it. If you don't fancy buying Gerard Cosmetics. But that is what I've been wearing. So at least you guys know that I have been using up my items because there's no way we're going to be able to see through this packaging. Occasionally I can shine a torch through and that's where I got this line, but it has been on its side for the entire time this month rather than on its end, so I'm not going to be able to measure it because all the uh, product is all mixed around in the tube. So, But I am still working on it. There is quite a bit to go, so probably won't be done. A product that was hyped up on YouTube, I picked the MAC Prep and Prime, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This time around I've got great progress. This was the intro, first update, second update, this update. Like, this update's progress is the most out of all the updates. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. It's definitely not going to get done. I mean, look, it's right at the top. But, I am so pleased that I managed to get this much done. Like, I look at it now and I don't think, oh yeah, there's a whole product there. I look at it now and I'm like, oh yeah, I can keep using it, I'll be finished soon. I probably won't, but that's what I tell myself now when I look at it, I'm not so mad at it anymore, so I'm really pleased with that. Something I am scared to pan. I picked from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I picked this shade here in Bless Her Heart. I want to hit pan on this shadow and as you can see I have not done that yet. I'm probably going to put this in my weekly makeup basket for this coming week. You'll probably see this before that. Let me just explain to you why you didn't see one last week. I didn't wear any makeup last week. Like last week was absolute chaos in terms of my own personal self-organisation. So I was getting up late on most days and did not wear any makeup. The most I wore was like mascara and eyeliner, that's it. So I'm not going to do a basket, mainly because one, it'll be late, and two, I will keep the same things in anyway because I didn't wear any makeup. So to save on your troubles and my troubles, there's not going to be one until this coming Thursday. The same with my eyeshadow roulette. I knew that was due last Thursday as well, but I am behind on my videos, so that one will go up also next this coming Thursday. An orange item was this. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eyeshadow sorry, glide on eye pencil in trick and this is where I am on that one. So it looks about the same again to be honest. Why can't I hold this straight? What is... there we go. So yeah, so the progress looks about the same. So following that pattern two more months, 
might be able to get it done at a push. We'll see. I will try and work on it a little bit more so that we can definitely get as much of the, like maximize the amount of progress that we will get on it in the hopes that I will get it done by the finale. But right now I'm really happy with the progress. Like that was a, a deluxe size liner and I've used a ton of it. Like this is how much I've used so far. So the next item was a Holy Grail item, which was my Urban Decay Obsessed Lipstick. Last month I traded that out for a dry shampoo because a dry shampoo I can't live without, I consider it a holy grail. The dry shampoo that I picked was this. This is the Batiste in Sweetie. I don't know what happened to the cat, but I don't know if you can hear. That's totally empty. It's been in my empties box, that's probably where the cap is. So I'm going to put that back in my empties box and that's one item down that we can trade out for a new subject this time around. The next item was a gift. For the gift item, I picked from the L'Oreal Color Riche La Palette Extravaganza for lips. And I picked this top shade here, and I wanted to hit pan. And I don't know if you can see, right in here, you can't really see it because, ah, oh, there we go, now you can see it. Teeny tiny pan. So even though it's teeny tiny, I'm calling it done. That's going. So that's the second item that I will put in this time around. The next item was a sweet scented item and for that I went into the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette and I picked the shade Jelly and I wanted to hit Pan and as you can see I have not yet done that. To be honest, like the other one, the other eyeshadow, I have not used this so I'll probably put that into a weekly makeup basket coming up soon at some point as well. The next item was a lip product. The lip product that I picked was this. This is the PS Love by Primark Lip Liner. I'm not sure what shade it's in because it didn't have a thing on the sticker. And I've not used this since the last update so I'm still there. I need to remember to use this so this will probably go in a weekly makeup basket as well. This project is turning into Let's count the number of items Claire's not used this time round. This is the Trolls eyeshadow and was my last item, which was a MAC product. And this is the Paradisco Frost eyeshadow. And as you can see, I've not yet hit pan, but the Troll is nearly gone now. So this one I have used, as you can see, no more Troll. So I'm not sure how deep the MAC pans are. To be honest, I've never panned a MAC eyeshadow that's pressed. I've only ever had the loose pigments. I've never panned one of those, but they're the only type of MAC eyeshadow that I've ever used up until I got this one, so I'm not sure how long that's got left to go. Amanda will be able to tell me because she always has MAC eyeshadows. The next thing we're going to do is we need to replace those two items with two new items. So I'm going to bring up the spreadsheet. Okay, I have the spreadsheet ready and I have random.org on my phone. So if I'm looking in weird directions, it's because I'm looking at the spreadsheet. It's on my computer while I'm filming on my computer. So let's bring it up. Okay, so there's 50 things, as I said. So let's put 50 in here. And then if I get a number that I've had before, I will just re-roll. So number 19. You guys aren't going to believe this. Like, I'm, I'm actually going to have to screenshot this to prove that I'm not lying. Number 19 is a lip balm. Let's move on. 42. 42 is something you have too many of. Okay, that we, that we can probably do. That's a little bit easier. So let me close that down. Uh, okay. I'm back. I'm putting my phone down now. So I need to go and pick something that I have a lot of and a lip balm. I will be right back. Okay. So I have my items. For the something I have too many of, I picked this. This is the Avon Planet Spa Relaxing Provence Spa with Lavender and Jasmine Hand Cream. I've only used it once, so we're kind of about here. I can't shine through the packaging because it's that metallic type packaging that you can't see through. But yeah, I would say I'm about here on that one. And for my lip balm, I've picked this. This is another Avon product, but there's no label on it. This is like a shimmery, pinky, lip balm. I don't know if you can see. It does have a slight tint to it. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use that up. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to mark it on the paper, but I'm going to because there's no label on it, I'm going to mark it on the tube. And I'm going to mark it here 
because this whole part is the pusher and this is where the product starts and I'm not going to dig into it so there we are that's that one mark I literally cannot believe that Amanda's going to wet herself when she finds out it's going to be great I'd actually like to be there when she finds out but I can't because she lives so far away anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this update it's going to be interesting getting the rest of these products done in two months but I'll give it a go we'll see what happens um, hopefully I'll have some more items done next time so we can cycle some more products in. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.